Uh, I'm back. Uh, it's been a hot minute. Oh yeah, World Gen doesn't get touched, does it? It's just this. You can actually turn up depth worms? Holy shit. Oh, they're called great worms. So these are depth worms. These are great worms. Damn, it has been a hot bed at fuck. Alright, let's get back into it. So my mic was fucked for three days. Luckily, I got a commission. Thank you. Uh, so I was able to actually, you know, get my mic back. Which was awesome. So that means I'm able to get back into recording. And this time... This mic, it's the same headset as the previous headset, because I actually really like that headset. But this time I'm uh, keeping this fuzzy little doodad thing, because I, I got rid of it because my cat was fucking with it, and it was all ruined, so I was like, ah, fuck it, get rid of it. And then for a long time, my mic had, like, air noises, which is really annoying, because you could hear, like, the fan and shit and background noise. <clears throat> so this time I'm keeping it on, fuck it. I'm keeping this thing on. Uh, so there should be a lot less air in the background and air noises, and we are back playing Don't Starve. Uh, let me finish this series up, obviously, because obviously, well, not finish it up, but I need to get back into it, you know, I gotta get more episodes in, because honestly, we are three episodes behind on this, versus Dead Space and Unreal, which is, uh, a couple episodes ahead of this one. So I need to get this series up and running, I need to get it going, we need to get this on par with the other ones. Because uh, I'm doing three episodes a day, which is a lot of episodes in one day, boys. But it makes YouTube realize, hey, you know, I'm trying my best here. I can just take my glasses off, it doesn't matter. It would be nice to have glasses. But because this headset is new, the cushioning is uh, still kind of stiff. You know, it's a new headset, so the cushioning is stiff. Mike is stiff. Everything's stiff. So you gotta like move it around a little bit before it actually becomes soft and then it's uh, perfect. But I don't got time for that. I got I have to get some recordings in. You know, I gotta get uh, moving. I gotta start recording and I gotta get up to a certain point so that way I have another buffer. Because luckily, luckily I had a buffer, which is the great thing about over recording and having stockpile of recordings, is because... Uh, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to record any good audio. I would have a bunch of bad audio um, for you guys. And that would suck. Because with all that bad audio, that means that uh, you know less people would be interested in watching. So I'm glad that I had a stockpile of good audio videos. Because that means that you know I had enough time to get a commission and enough time to get a new mic. Luckily, this commission was really quick. But if I only had like you know, five days until a commission, and then be another three on top of that, I'd be, you know, seven episodes, eight episodes in, but I, I have eight to seven episodes already pre-established, I have like a buffer, <clears throat> about a week and a half of buffer, which is pretty nice, but I'd like that buffer to be a month's worth, you know, that way I have a month's worth of buffer, so that way if I do uh, have something fuck up, like my... Uh, my whatchamacallit, my, if my keyboard messes up or my mouse messes up, I'll have a suitable replacement by then, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get a good, suitable replacement. Anyway. <sighs> right, okay, so we just built this, uh, hat right here. We just did this. We, uh, are five days into spring. That means that we have 15 days until spring's over. So that means we have 15 days to take care of the moose goose, 15 days to prepare for uh, summer. So let's start gathering up some gears. That's what we need is the gears. Let me look at my map. We need gears badly. So we only got two. That's enough for one ice fling up, but we need more than that. So where are my gears at? I'm assuming it's just in like corners and stuff. I'm just missing them in corners. That is an option where it's like... It's in a corner, we have to go get it. But I'm thinking really seriously about going to just the ruins and just getting some. Because honestly, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm missing so many gears here. I might just go into the ruins, break a couple of the ruined uh, statues, and be able to get myself a couple of uh, gears from that. So another thing we can do is we can go over here to this little statue area over here. That'll be another way to get some uh, gears. It's also almost day 41, if we want to try to do the set pieces we can. Because we have the Walking Kang, uh, all we need is some, uh, 
<clears throat> whatchamacallit. We need dark swords, that's what we need. So I think what I'll do... Oh, hello, little bastards. I'll just get a dark sword for you then. <laughs> we also got a new commander helm. Got the axe. We can use this axe to get some of these trees here. A lot of them should be shriveled up. Uh, but we don't have any light, so... Just gonna have to wait on that, I guess. Oh, we have two commander helms. Nice. Let me actually organize a little bit. Okay, what do we got? Razor, put that over here. Tools. Weapons go over here. Tools go over here. Tool. Uh, this is technically a tool. Let's put the armor right next to us. Tool. Oh, okay, I'm back. Holy shit. God, go through an entire marathon. Okay. Oh my goodness, I have to fucking go through like nine different hoops just for one fucking thing. Oh, I'm too fat for this. Okay. Light of fire. Okay, so we're over here. So let's just chop down some trees. Let's get some tree guardians going. I could just wait for Berger, honestly, if I want to get a whole bunch of living logs, and I could just start using, like, the Rond and some, uh, whatchamacallits, some ham bats, but then again, it'll take a while for him to actually show up, so it's better just to do this. I'm gonna just eat this, it doesn't matter. It's like, we're gonna get so many, like, logs and sticks and shit. Daytime, please. There you go. Alright, go for the shriveled trees. In fact, just drop this. There's no reason to have this. I mostly did it because I was like, fuck it, let's just attack trees. But I'm like, wait a minute, you know, just chop down the big boy trees. Because the big boy trees that are fully shriveled up, uh, they chop instantly and they count as a whole tree. So, just for go for those. <sighs> I hate being fat. <laughs> I hate being fat. I've got too much, too much fat. <laughs> Can't run good. <laughs> Bloated. Jesus. Uh, I don't see any shriveled trees. We saw a couple back there, so I guess they're all at the back. Going on, like, come on now. They must have all just turned into small trees. That's lame. I hate how, like, a lot of these are equally scheduled. So that means that they all fucking shrivel up at the same time and they all, like, turn into big trees at the same time. That's really annoying, but that's okay. It happens. Technically, we could just go for the baby trees. Fuck it. Ah, oh, bro. See, this is what I'm talking about. I hate that shit. They all, like, grow at the same time. So, like, once one grows, just ignore them. Ignore the trees, let them grow, and then once they're done growing, you come back and get them. God damn it, I just did this at the wrong ass time. Nice. I mean, this one's just burnt, so it doesn't count. This sucks, there's no shriveled trees. Mm. 
Dentro de este. Marauder. I wonder if they'll do something fun for the Marauders for Halloween. Maybe make it to where they drop candy. That'd be kind of fun. They would store candy and have a bunch of it. Maybe you can trade them candy. <laughs> That'd be fun. Doubt it, but it'd still be a fun concept. Uh, oh, this is a big loop-de-loop. -loop. That's interesting. There's no clockworks. I'm pretty sure the carpeted area also doesn't have clockworks, but I'll double check it. Uh, let's see. Nope, no clockworks. We desperately need some clockworks here. Because, like, the ice in Chester, I don't know if that'll actually melt. Even though Chester is technically cold, I'm pretty sure he doesn't count as a fridge. So, yeah, I think we just need to go underground. Oh, yeah, thank you. I totally wanted to fight. Three, four, five, six. Oh, my goodness. Wigfrid really is just the spider destroyer, isn't she? It's so funny how like one character devolved into like another character archetype. Cause like originally she's just combat character. She's meant to be combat, but no, it's like spider destroyer. Fuck it. God, not again. Bring it on, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna watch the game. Thank you. Anyway, now I have no weapon, but that's fine. Oh, and then watch, I'm gonna run into a depth worm down here. I already know it. The great worm, or whatever it's called. <laughs> I can already tell. Such a shitty, shitty fuck a day. <laughs> Hope the next day is better. Let's see. Watch it be like two great worms, not just one. I don't know if it counts as a boss. Bosses typically are if you kill it 20 days of like no, none of that other boss. But like, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know because I haven't been testing Don't Starve stuff anymore. I kind of just stopped testing it. I just watch fucking videos about it now. I was going to test it for this where I was going to be like, okay, let's check it out. Let's see what actually like is going to go on in the game. But I was like, you know what? They're adding a battle axe. I'd rather be just surprised by it. <laughs> I'd rather just be surprised. But, uh, yeah, I haven't been doing very much to research. Oh, hey, okay. Uh, hang on. From memory, if memory serves me right, there was a slurper over here, which means that over here is probably going to be the ruins, or maybe it's over there. 
One of the two. So sure, let's go that way. There's also a guano biome here. That makes me suspicious. That makes me feel like that's the atrium. That could also be a great way to get some uh, gears because there's going to be two guaranteed whatchamacallits there. Two guaranteed clockworks in that area. Let's check it out. I don't think it's the spider biome. I think it has to be the guano biome. So I'm pretty sure that one doesn't count. There is a tentacle there, so let's double check that. If it's this one, that would actually be a cool callback to the original Don't Starve game. I would appreciate it if that was the case. No, okay. Yeah, I think it's just regular guano field. I think this is just a stalagmite biome. I don't think this is a guano field. I think guano field is something else. Still cool to look at, though. I still think this biome looks really cool. It's just not point. Like, it, there is no point to it. It's literally just go there for stalagmites and fossils. That's about it. Because, like, stalagmites give you the ability to get gold and stuff. You mostly go there for the gold and the fossils. Let's see. Uh, there's another one that way, but I'm pretty sure that's a normal uh, stalagmite field. We're trying to find the guano one. The guano one has the atrium, but it's guaranteed to have clockworks. But we also have the ruins that would have clockworks guaranteed, uh, which would be one thing. Maybe this one? This is definitely guano filled. Nope. Cool though. I will admit, it's cool. I like the fissures down here too. The fissures are such a nice touch to this type of uh, ruins. Because like our ruins in regular Don't Starve is just a hole. And you go into it into a deeper hole. You know? Versus this one which actually has like fissures and an actual underground world. Versus Don't Starve which is like multiple holes. And you just jump down and it's just the same thing as the surface but dark all the time. It's very weird. Okay, so it's either this way or the other way, so let's find out if it's this way. If it's this way, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, nope. Alright, that's the other one. There you go, it's up there. Doo -doo -doo. Into the ruins. Oh shit, it's nightmare phase. The holes are smaller though, which means it's almost over, so I might as well just run in here. Get a fucking glimpse of what we can have. I was insane before it was cool. Run! <laughs> Run! Alright, so judging from that monkey, that means it's gonna be that way versus where we're going. Actually, hold up, it could be tricking me again. Every time I go in here, I get tricked. So I think there is a pattern to this where if you follow the lichen, it actually teaches you where it is. Because there's, there's pockets, there's like little areas that you can get stuck in that uh, trick you into going that way and then you go there and then it's fucked. So if we go this way, yeah, the lichen points this way. Maybe this is the key, you just follow the lichen. Follow the lichen. Oh, there you go, everything's normal again. We're in the safe zone. And everything's blue. Blue means safe. What a bitch. Do I have an axe? Yeah, I have a pickaxe and I have an axe. Cool, I can make the pickaxe. Uh, 
Well, we found it. Cool. Can I have a weapon? I have a battle spear. That's it. Okay. I believe these guys are guaranteed to drop that item, which is purple, fuel, and that. I think it's just guaranteed for that, so there's no gears out of this guy. That's fine. What else we got here? Okay. Pickaxe! We just need tool tool site. Okay. I can do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's always empty. Okay. Uh, just eat these. Doesn't matter. Get out of your inventory. Drop. The battle spear is not bad here. I mean, 42 damage is nothing to scoff at, but it's better to have a hand bat where it's 59 damage, because that uh, 50 damage is so much better than the uh, damage you bring here. But luckily for Wigfrid, uh, the damage is increased to 50. So technically we have 50 damage, so we're technically just as good as every other character with a hand bat here. Alright. Sorry, there was noise in the background. Uh, so this leads to the... Nice, it leads to the uh, Guardian. This is the Labyrinth. Ah, fuck. I'm just going to keep running. <laughs> no reason to stop. Just keep running. Just map it out, honestly. It's always best to map out the ruins, and then when you're ready, you come back for the uh, boss. Guardian. Alright, where are we at? Uh, we could go this way and see if he's over there, but he's probably like over here, honestly. He tends to be in weird angles and shit, so it just depends on where you want to fucking go. So he could have uh, been over here. Let's look for battle. All right. Hopefully there's no more noise. It's been a very rowdy day today. <sighs> Oh, fuck. Alright, perfect. Alright. Good stuff. Fuck it, grab it. The floor webs act as like a nest, so they can easily go back up into the nest. So it's best to just let them drop down and uh, not to fuck with them. So we know that's over there. And judging from this map, it doesn't connect on this side. We have to go this way, and there's probably like a little area off to the side for us to climb into. It's definitely that way. Or maybe not. Okay, so it is... Oh, fuck. This is a stupid-ass branch. So we have to go back. Gotta take a... Down, over, down. First one on the left. Go over, then up. Okay, well, that's gonna be hard to remember. So it's this way. Thank you. Down. This way. You're a motherfucker for that. Oh my god, it's like a corner branch. Fuck off. Now we go down and then this way. Right? Yes, okay. Like, honestly, man. Honestly. Chillax with the spiders, man. One or two nests. Why you gotta put down like 800 nests? Mm-hmm. 
gotta be 8,000 nests, and you gotta make sure you fucking have a billion ounces of rain. Here we go. Doesn't matter, you can just avoid them. Ooh, and a terror beak. Nice. Fun. Son of a bitch. Stop throwing webs at me. I can't see good. They really need to extend the lantern's light by like 800 meters. Like, god fucking damn, let me see. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. I like being chased by 900 entities. It's so fun. It's so fun when there's no cap on the spiders. It's like, entity cap. Three. <laughs> Three spiders, no one else. Them. Let them stay stunned. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm leaving. You are irritating the shit out of me. It's like, motherfucker, give me a second. It's like, make it to where shadow creatures get stuck on walls or something. God damn. Let them fight. Fucking corners, man. Corners. So annoying. It's like, have some light sources at least. Little lantern. Something. Something, dude. It's like everything's dark for some reason. Like, I don't even care if it's like shadow lights. You know, do something. Have a little entity. I don't know. But like, it's so annoying. You come down here and it's like pitch fucking black. It's like, why? You have lights? Fucking use them! <laughs> use these lights more often! It's like, god damn, there should be lights coming from the depths. And they just kind of like, light up the path a little bit. Not even a lot, just enough to where you can have like, land markers. God damn. I'm getting stuck on shit. Worst part is it's a nightmare phase right now, so do we risk it? Just say fuck it and leave. Cause I'm, honestly I'm irritated now. It's like I just wanted a couple of like little things and I get nothing. I get, <laughs> I get nothing and I get to go through fucking monkey island again. God damn it. Let me guess, I'm gonna pass by these monkeys and they're gonna immediately shift. Alright, good. Give me a minute. Give me a minute to get away. There's like there was nothing I could do down there. I had no choice but to leave. Okay, there you go. I found one. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I thought we wanted that. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the billions and billions and billions of fucking shadow creatures. Like, right off the bat. Shouldn't have stopped. They should have just kept moving. Fuck it. I wanted to get the goddamn depth worm, because he's important. But no, let's throw the nightmare phase out of it, then slow him down. It's like, fucking, gotta slow me down somehow, because I'm good at the game. So it's like, fuck it, throw a billion things at him. Make him angry. <laughs> Make him tilted. He's tilted! Get him! <laughs> it's the only way to kill me is to get me as tilted as possible. <laughs> the ruins always just frustrate me because it, it's so simple to make it a little bit easier. It, do, it doesn't even have to be super easy. It just needs some like small little minor adjustments to make it better. It's called light up the ruins, make it to where you don't have to bring that much light down there, and then you can just easily counter a lot of the enemies. There you go. Because, like, shadow creatures, they really should be stopped by light. You know, if you turn, like, a light source on, maybe you could have a little safety area. 
Maybe some lunar technology, I don't fucking know. If you go to the archives, you can make a, a lunar light, and the lunar light keeps shadow creatures away, and they fear it. What the fuck, man? There you go. Jesus. Ah. <sighs> Fucking breathe for a minute. Breathe, boy. Breathe. Okay. Got plenty of nightmare fuel from that. That was nice. Uh, let's leave this torch. We don't need it. We don't need these bone shards anymore because we already have this. Um, what we could possibly do. Let's break a couple of these. Get some rocks and some flint and stuff like that. No, these are mine. Fuck off. Once my shit. You know what? Get my pimpin' Kang! <laughs> Get my pimpin' Kang ready! It's annoying when you have two of them on you. They really need to fix Slurtles. God damn, they do so much damage. Why do they do a billion damage? Make them do two damage. They don't need to do a billion. God damn. They attack like lightning fast. I hate that shit. Ah, oh, it's just you now, pussy. Get the pimpin' king. Give me my HP bag. I did not want that! Why the fuck did you go for that? No, fuck you. You ain't getting me. Fuck that shit. Go for target. Me was already on. Like, why the fuck did you switch targets for some reason? This is- I hate the targeting system in this game. <laughs> it's irritating. Go for one fucking target. God fucking damn. It's like, fuck it. I'm trying to go for one. There you go, I get guaranteed heals off this guy and I just fucking sit here. <sighs> Why? Fucking that fire. No, I'm cunt. Mm -hmm. Gotta eat raw flesh because fucking this game doesn't give you enough fucking fire. Got a fucking pimpin' king this hoe. <laughs> so badly. So much better if I had a fucking ham bed. You're giving me all my health back, motherfucker. You better give me that shell on top of that.
fucking tried. Kind of grab. Fuck that. Mine. Fuck you, little pussy. What do you want? You want this thing over here? What do you want? Something over here? Fuck you. You don't get that either. You ain't get shit. That's what you get, pussy. You know what? I'm gonna kill him. Fuck him. I'm irritated today. No, but at least I his ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm mad, man. I'm mad. All right, where's the other slurtles so I can get the shells? Because now that I have some inventory, I'm going to get the shells. Because fuck them. They made me mad. <laughs> they made me really mad, man. Uh, Was it over here? Yeah, okay. I only need two. With those two, I can make the wonderfully named uh, seed bat pouch and that seed pouch will give me the ability to store seeds uh, for a lot longer than in my inventory so that'd be nice I'm going this way sorry that I get tilted so easily in this game but this I've been, I've been playing this game for years it knows how to fuck with me it knows it's like throw as many enemies at him as possible fucking make it to where he can't do what he wants to do, stop him from making plays, and it's like, oh, that makes me mad. It's like fucking, I can't make any plays because I have to set up light, I have to set up uh, grounds, I have to make food, you know, I have to do all this shit, and it, it makes me mad because it's like I can't do it on time, and then something stops me, and then I get irritated, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck this area, I'm going to a safe place. It'd be easier if the ruins actually had some set pieces that would spawn occasionally. Maybe like a little kitchen area, maybe like a little uh, storage room that has at least 10 dual sight in it, maybe 10 to five. So you get a couple of dual sight from that thing, but it's not guaranteed. Maybe even like a light source area that gives you like a light that scares off um, shadow creatures or maybe just craft a, a thing that makes shadow creatures think you're one of them so they'll leave you alone but it drains sanity rapidly you know that way if you lose the item and you don't have any more sanity it doesn't activate anymore so you have to have sanity down there like ice cream and like uh, you know cooked cactus and stuff like that so it would make it to where the player has to plan ahead where they have to have cooked sanity foods and they have to make sure that they're sane uh, and trick the shadow creatures into not fighting them and it would also be the monkeys as well maybe even barter with the monkeys similar to the shipwreck monkeys you give them bananas or shadow fuel and they'll be like oh shit he's a good guy I like how it's a shadow fuel it's nightmare fuel thank you <laughs> I keep fucking it up cause I'm tilted <laughs> I'm tilted they know my weakness <laughs> <sighs> Anyway, I'm going to have to end it here because I, I have a lot of fucking editing to do now, but that's okay. Honestly, it's either edit a whole bunch or it's like, you know, just don't do it and play a different game. <laughs> I don't, I'm not letting this game fucking stop me, damn it. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys next time.